Good morning, my esteemed viewers. We are still looking at the performance of the president, Bola Ahmed Turubu, in office. With me is Mr. Tobechuku. Mr. Tobechuku, you are welcome to the program. Uh, welcome. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. So, so far, how can you assess the current president in terms of performance with respect to all his appointment and policy direction? Well, um, I see, at first I would say he started well, but I am not giving him credit at the moment because, you know, a man who knows he, he, he doesn't have his seat yet, he's still trying to see how he can buy over all the persons that might be um, a hindrance to him. So, looking at it, from the first world go, he, 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 showed an, he showed an attitude of, I know what I want, but from the other appointments coming on, he's becoming, he's becoming clear that he's drawing the line. Because I haven't understood that, uh, I haven't to a later point, understood by him that, um, he's, that the court is actually going to play his bidding by ensuring that um, he remains there as a president. He's now beginning to show what he really is, a dictator that he is. Because I do not see the reason why a president, going by the constitution of the Federal, Repo of the Federal Republic, a president has no power. Has no power, I said it again, has no power to suspend a CBN governor. The constitution only empowers him to send him on a sabbatical leave, which is a compulsory leave. Then, but the power to suspend a, a sitting governor, a sitting CBN governor, li solely lies in the hands of the um, assembly. So it tells you that this man is a dictator who, who has come to impose, to, to impose himself as an imposter into uh, Nigeria, into Nigerians. Because one, looking at, I want to take us back to 2012, when subsidy was removed by the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, when Tinubu and the likes went to Ojota, they gathered and they were like, um, subsidy, if you say that there's no subsidy, that um, the person, that if we're taking away subsidy, that Jonathan wants to enrich himself and his um, cohorts. But today, what, how far? He removed the subsidy without even a human face. Now that you are asking, you are saying that workers should um, stop, uh, should not come to work uh, two days in a week. They should work only three times in a week. What about the people who so depend on those workers to feed? We understand that um, Kogi State Government, no, we understand that Edo State Government, Akwara State Government said that they should be coming, to, workers should be coming three times a week. I don't think it's a thing federal government is considering as an option. No, but you see, when you say, when you give, when you give that light, that people should come to work, three times a week. What about the food, the food vendors that sell that it is when those workers come to work and they buy food that they can feed their own children? What about the, the tricycle people who, who shuttles them to office, who depends on them to be at work for them to, to make money and, 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 they make, and then feed their children? But uh, Mr. Uh, um, Tochuku, is he, do you have any feeling for federal government in terms of uh, the dwindling uh, revenue they say they are not getting enough? And that is the major reason they say they are removing subsidy. Do you have any feeling for them? Uh, you see, the truth is that when you say you've not, you've not, you've not made enough, I want to go back to statistics. Uh, when um, Jonathan was in power, we, 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 we had, yes, there was, there was a rise in the, in the pump price by OPEC. Now, then, but the world was in, in local, local sales were, was around um, 90 something era. When, the, during the advent of Buadi, the OPEC was selling, I think, $40 per barrel. And we were selling, we were selling at one, we were selling at 180. When you do the money, you get to understand that the, the federal government, that they sold more. And now, this present government has come in, came in, and then they are now, they said, they, 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 the subsidy was supposed to end in, at the end of this month. And they are selling at 500 per liter. So who is making more money? And they are still also selling at, at they, are still, at, they are still selling um, at, at, a, at, a, at a price internationally that is far higher than what Wadi uh, what, uh, was selling at, 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 at the time. So when you say you're not making money, it means that now, if you're not making money, why are you bringing in so many, uh, so many aids? A man who wants to, a man who wants to short sleeve, a man who wants to cut cost, would start by himself. You don't size by yourself. Now, what what measures, what plans, what plans 
what policies has the present government put in place to downsize their own costs? What measures has the uh, present government put in place to downsize the legislative arm? Those are the areas you need to look at. That again, if I may ask, we're all aware that the National Assembly leadership have emerged. And we understand that in the build up to the election and inauguration, that the president draws support for Apabio and Abbas, who have currently become the senior president and the speaker of the House of Rep, respectively. What is your, your reaction, especially in respect to the allegation of Nigerians that we are likely going to have a rubber stamp National Assembly? That is confirmed. We are going to have another rubber stamp assembly. It's a pity that even the other political party. Uh, the other parties uh, from the uh, from PDP, Labour Party, and the likes of them fell into that trap because it's going to be, it's going to be a rubber stamp assembly whereby what the president say is what the senior president is going to do. And then going by that, Akwabia is a thief. Tinubu is a thief. So who is going to check stand? Who is going to who is going to uh, uh, checkmate each other? If I may understand you better, you are saying, you are trying to infer that the responsibility that is bestowed on National Assembly to carry out oversight function is gone? Yes, it's gone. Because we are still going to see what happened in the Ninth Assembly. It is, it can, it's just exactly what happened, or it's even going to be worse than what happened in the Ninth Assembly. That's going to happen. Because um, the President uh, Tinubu worked for Akwabio to come in. I quote, um, uh, I quote, uh, uh, is it uh, 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 Senator Abba? Abba, what is his name? That when Yari. Yari, yeah, 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 so, no, so, Abba, something like that. When he said that even until the ninth, night of uh, the, uh, of um, of Monday, that the president sneaked out and was giving some people money. He said it on open. He said that the president sneaked out to meet some people, and then that the, the permutation was that they are going to get 76, uh, 77 votes, and at the end of the day they got 70, 76, which means that the lawmakers from the other parties. Um, 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 participated, participated in the, because they are just fifty, they are just 50, uh, about fifty-six or thereabout. Why the other lawmakers are the, from the other parties are fifty-five? APC is higher than them with one vote, with one, um, with one um, uh, lawmaker. And if properly checked, that I, I was supposed to see. I, I was I, I expecting to have a, 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 a keenly contested um, a, a, a election, but we saw it on the platter of gold, falling right on the platter of gold, to tell you that all these other person, all these other, uh, what we're expecting to see in the 10th assembly is not going to happen. But we're going to see a jamboree or true. Then with respect to the federal government policy or trying to flow the dollar, what, do you, what is your expectation and what is your reaction? How do you flow dollar? What, how, do you, how do they intend to flow the dollar? How do you intend to flow the dollar? Is it not still, what are you selling? What do you have? What are you producing? So before now, you understand that federal government through CBN have parallel um, exchange rates. A situation where importers, exporters, manufacturers are giving lower rates so that they can encourage a production to drive down the cost of goods and commodities in the country. And this government have come to reverse it. What is your reaction? What are we likely going to see going forward? That's what we see. That is the same thing we're still saying. Now, because what you're going to see is that you're going to, you're going to see the, gov the, 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 the government trying to, still using Naira to buy dollar to cushion the effect of, of dollar rates, whereby um, to have to have the dollar go down. That is one thing people do not understand. People were like saying people were saying that since Tinubu took over that the dollar rate had dropped. But the point is, do you know how much of Naira had gone in? Because you don't have you don't have any, you don't have any, you don't have anything you produce or you manufacture that would that will, that will bring in the dollar for you that will make your Naira have value. The, 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 the crude you're talking about, I, how, how, what is the value of your crude in OPEC? Eh? The agriculture that, uh, to a larger extent, uh, Buhari has tried to grow by his policy of um, um, shutting the borders. Now, you, now that the border has been opened, the, 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 agriculture will, the agriculture will drop again because foreign foods will come in. And that is utterly going to affect the local, the, 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 the local farmers. So how do you now intend to, 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 to magnet? Because it is what you sell that you used to, uh, to, 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 bring in, to, to bring in the dollars. So and we, don't do, we don't have any of those things. Thank you very much for your in-depth analysis. We appreciate your in-depth analysis. And we say a very big thank you. My pleasure. This is MB Media Affairs. With me is Pastor Gideon. Pastor Gideon, you are welcome to this program. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I want to know your assessment of the current president, Senator Amebola Tunubu, with respect to 
his performance so far in office? Uh, you no know, performance. Nothing that he performed yet. He just uh, news and talk. Uh, Yoruba start to promote him because he's their person. If another person, they will mock it. So he never do anything yet. I don't see anything he do yet. I don't see anything he do yet. That's the pure truth. But are you aware that as we speak today, the president has signed data bill? The bill is to protect people's data, people's information. Are you aware? People data in what way? To make me not, to buy data cheap? No, not necessarily buying data. Information generally, so it can be protected. It protected in what way? If you talk, in not a speech again on what happened. I want so to that people cannot double into your personal your data, which you have in any platform. It can be preserved for good Mister, purpose. You not steal my data. Or take my data, or I open my Wi-Fi now. Another person cannot connect to my Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about phone data. I'm not talking about phone data. So what happened? What I'm happened? talking about information. Information in what? Information that is being saved, stored in what is that data to do with the form? Okay, you are saying what? The, the what does that have to do with the form? Is that we are looking for what food to eat? Okay, now let me ask you. What is your reaction with issue of a subsidy remover? Do you support the president for the subsidy remover? Subsidy remover? What did, why did he remove subsidy? He said he want to free money so that government will have enough money to spend. So since enough money, how many days now? What did he do with that money that now? No, my reaction, my question is, what is your assessment since they remove subsidy? Assessment is, of subsidy is useless. Some nation pays subsidy 100% to masses. Like Libya. 80%. Saudi Arabia. So many countries, they pay subsidy 80% to their masses, 50% to their masses. So if you remove subsidy for kerosene, diesel, and fuel, what do you do to us? Then Nigeria go on its own. Government did not help you for anything. No, according to him, he said he wants to free money so that government will have enough money for infrastructural development. Nigeria have money in port, in everywhere, oil. We have money, some nation that pay subsidy to their masses, they don't have anything that in Nigeria, but they pay subsidy. So you don't come here as a wise man like me, as a GPM political party, he said, I want to, you know, remove subsidy from masses, not to help masses for anything. And you are so proud. What do you help masses for? You subsidy is for you to pay. If something is under naira, you pay 15 naira for me, I pay 15 naira. Is it not so? Now you don't pay anything for me. He said, I go alone and suffer. What do you do? Why, why are you be my president? Why are you coughing me? Why are you my government? If you don't pay subsidy for me, what, what are you for me? If you don't pay subsidy for me. So what we are saying is that the government ought to subsidize the price of petroleum products so Nigerians will enjoy. Listen to me, it subsidized nothing. As it took subsidy come out, Nigerian pay pain. Now we buy fuel for almost 500 per liter. What good? It give us more pain to pay. For how many ages? Another pain again for another ages. What is it one? So subsidy removal is scam. It's stupidity. You must pay subsidy as a present to your people. America pay, all nations pay to make people buy something cheap. They import high, sell cheap for masses. That is subsidy. In Libya, um, uh, Dubai, they pay subsidy to their masses to enjoy their product that they buy in, the, 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 in their country. So you come now and wipe subsidy, not for anything. Now you tell us that we should be happy that you don't come to remove subsidy. Or the president refused to remove it because they know that Nigerian will suffer. Now how, how do we go to places? Market now is shut down. So many things are shut down because of the subsidy. They cannot afford to buy fuel to run your unit and all that. You, you know, do light. You come in, you, you put light in place. You know, put light in place. You don't put anything in place. Nothing that you put in place for us to enjoy. You just remove subsidy. For the first day we enter office, in Nigeria and start to suffer for your first day. Now you start to proud that you are doing something. What do you do? Now, Pastor Gideon, you are aware that currently there's already leadership of National Assembly. And we understand that in the build-up to the election and inauguration of the National Assembly, the President Bola Ahmed Tunubu supported Senator Pabio and Abbas as the Senior President and the Speaker House of Representatives respectively. And as we speak now, uh -huh. both of them have emerged leaders in the respective Chamber of National Assembly. Okay. What is your reaction with Senior uh, President uh, 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 Abbas being the Senior President and uh, Abbas as the yes, Speaker of yes. House of Representatives? Yes, uh, for him to be a senior president, eh, I play my own rule for Kwaibum to become senior president. That's my, I know what I do to the ancestors. That was nothing concerned me with that. I know what I do to the, the price I pay to the ancestors for Kwaibum to become senior president. Now, he, in he, your has assessment, never, he has never happened before. In your assessment, in my assessment, it's good that Kwaibum is the president. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be since. 
But somebody stop him. Now that thing is clear. Now he come to become a baby after that place going to presidency. Now what is your reaction to what Amnesty International said recently? That since Tunubu took office, that about 120 Nigerians have been killed by criminals, bandits, Funani Hesmen, and other. What is your reaction? Uh, he, he has happened now. Tunubu cannot deliver help Nigeria and he's not the messiah now. So they must kill as they used to kill. Nothing he can do. What can he do? Bible says, I know place can a man prevail. As a pastor, I know what he cannot do. He cannot do anything. So bandits will still kill. Uh, uh, full of the S-man will still kill. Things will still be the way it be. Nothing change. Because why? Turumu cannot save the nation. It's not the messiah to the country. And you are all aware that as we speak, the former Speaker House of Representatives, Fabi Bajabi Amela, have been made the Chief of Staff to Mr. President. What is your reaction? That's how, that's how it has to be because it's Yoruba that make him a product. He must be that. Okay, are you saying that Turubu is playing ethnic politics? Every bad politics ever. He signed a uh, student to go to school. He said it's a paid loan to go to school. That loan for who? He, 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 he played tricks for, to send Yoruba children to school for Nigerian government money. Because Yoruba get all lawyers. He said everybody should bring two, two lawyers. Yoruba get lawyers past other nations, other tribes. So how are they going to make me up to carry the loan? So Yoruba will carry the loan and go to school. The lawyers, lawyers will sign for them and they will succeed. So he using the lady way, criminality way, criminal way to you know, open for education to Yoruba children to go to school. And now Rob Nigerian said that they should pay, uh, they bring every, how can a student be paying source? And if you, if you don't pay, they could arrest you. He come back, you know, have job, you know, have, you know, have job, you know, have job, they go arrest you if you don't pay the money. What kind of uh, going to school for free be that? Some nation give good free education to university standard. But now look at what he do to, for you to go to school. A kind of pain that the kind of penalty he, he press on. So what kind of thing is that? So do you think that he is come to do anything good or is a messiah for the country? Can you imagine a, a, a president do that kind of thing to the student? No, I understand that Jesus Christ is Messiah. No other person can be this, in the status of Jesus Christ as a Messiah. But don't forget that Nigerians have high, high hope that any government that is taken over from Muhammad Buhari will perform better than Muhammad Buhari. Do you see Trubu, do you see Trubu performing better than Muhammad Buhari? Nothing. Trubu is the owner of APC. The same bad is he continue. Buhari was a striker, come to play for the football. He has finished. He has go back. Now they go back to Dauda, the contract is over. Now the real Turumbu is going to play his game. APC for since 1915, he gave us nothing. Bad luck to today. Turumbu said he has come. There's nothing we can see. Don't, 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 don't ever twist my word. Turumbu cannot do anything. Nigeria are making Turumbu noise. Turumbu cannot solve the insecurity problem in Nigeria. Nobody! Who born Turumbu to do that? Who born him to do that? What are in the area of growing the economy to make Nigeria economy better? He can never do it. East people, Yoruba people destroy the economy. How can you make Nigeria economy better? First, attack your people first. In oil and gas, in all this, taking oil for Farsi to uh, define and bring to Nigeria. Eh? Still, Nigerian property, state is their own for Lagos State. What did he do? The Turumu said that agent agreements should stop in Lagos State. What did he do to masses to board field and a government has come? Can Turumu say, okay, that I should pray away for our women to marry than to commit sex everywhere and seduce people everywhere? What did Turumbu do? Did he give us oh, free free house, build a, a government house for us, and we pay cheap? What did he do to masses, to Nigerians? Did he come and say, oh, accommodation should come to us, we will have electricity, we will have this, we will have this that we lost before, that by the government put us in bondage since? Did he come and say, okay, food could be a little bit manageable to be by? What does he do? So why are we proud for him? He has nothing to deliver. If he come to say he want to do that, we face the imposter of saying, oh, Lagos State, let people store agent agreement so that people can rent house and get, get wife, marry wife. Or he build uh, new houses to, for government house for people to rent and live. He do nothing. So now he can't sit down there and start to sign bill. Stupid bill. Bill and no, no, no favor to masses. So why is he signing? Okay, I'm aware, I know that since he has Zoom office, he has signed the data uh, protection bill, all the bill he has signed student bill. All the bill is wood wood. Okay, you are saying those bills have no direct impact, nothing, positive impact nothing, on Nigeria. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's wood wood. What bill is he signed? For children to go to school by, by loan, that one is worse. For a child to go to school and read book by loan, I mean, in mind that he's going to pay loan, for loan to stop this child hard. No, what I'm saying is that indigenous students, students who have no means of um, sufficient financial backbone to access education. Is that how you're going to train the, the poor men children to go to school? To give them loan? Or bad condition? Okay, you don't consider that opinion. What is a better way to make those indigenous students have access to education? Give them free education! 
Oh, you pay half for them, you pay half. Pay subsidy for them. Let them go to school. Or give them free education. Other nations do it. Why are you paying them? Uh, uh, paying upon them to go to school? What about the rich one that come from what they know for enough no matter? How do they move? So you How do they get lawyers to go and You mean the president have failed in that area? It failed! Who be fair? How do the children that not get anybody defend themselves to go to school? By not get lawyer. Where do they get lawyer from? To go and pay lawyers to come. 20,000 for lawyer or 40,000 or 50,000 to lawyer to go and back them up. No one two lawyer, one lawyer, not two lawyer. What are they, are we part of this man that coming? What do you think that this man is going to do? Who is proud of him? Let me see him. Turumu is to be proud for. Who is a person that is proud for Turumu? He is a man that is proud for Turumu is a fool. What did he do? Okay, this is the best thing he could have done for students to go to school. Now he now put a levy, levy task. Now how did you children that know that the poor children go to school? With this task. What are you talking about? Um, thank you very much for being on this program. It's a pleasure speaking with uh, Pastor Gideon. This is MB Media Affairs. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to like, share, and do not forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you very much.